Welcome to week number three. We're almost halfway done. Well, this is Kimberly Harkers again. I am your accountability partner and I am just so glad for you because you're getting the help that you need. You're taking out the time to invest in yourself spiritually. So I'm excited for you because I know that after this course, I am believing that God is going to do some amazing things in your life and you will no longer be a victim and a prey to your emotions. Well, welcome to another awesome week of overcoming emotions with prayers, a guide to faith, prayer and deliverance school. Now we're going to talk about some things. I asked you some tough questions this week and I hope that you enjoyed, uh, you know, your one-on-one with me. Well, let's talk about today. Let's talk about being comfortable. You know, sometimes God will get you in an uncomfortable state. And that's called transition. Transition doesn't feel good. Sometimes transition is turbulent. I know. How do I know? Because I'm there. You know, but we have to trust God. You know, God is the pilot and we are the passengers. So just sit back and enjoy the ride because God knows how to get us to the final destination. So that's how I want you to think of it. You may not see how everything's going to come together for you, but you just got to trust and believe that God knows what he's doing, right? Exactly. So my question to you is, are you comfortable with your walk with God? Meaning, are you stagnant? You know, being stagnant is not good in your walk. Because guess what? I've been a bench warmer for 10 years. Yes, that's right. I sat on the bench for 10 years in church. I didn't want to have anything to do with God. So, I encourage you that any dullness in you, I pray that God releases anointing on you right now. Unite the fire and the zeal within you right now in the name of Jesus. We don't want to be lukewarm. We don't want to be cold. The word tells us that it's better to be hot because if you're lukewarm, God will spit you out of his mouth. So that doesn't sound good, right? I don't want God to spit me out of his mouth. So I need you to continue. To f whatever is in you, the spiritual gifts, continue to flame them up. Maybe you don't have the Holy Ghost. Maybe you don't speak in tongues. Well, just ask the Lord for it. Amen. And I'm touching, I'm agreeing with you that God is getting ready to touch your life. He's going to pour out his anointing on you. He's going to unite that flame back inside of you. You can get the zeal back. Amen. You can start believing again. You can start trusting God again. And you can grow. So I'm excited. I'm excited about your life. Amen. You got great things to do for the kingdom. Amen. God has great things to do in your life. So the next thing we're going to talk about is being compassionate. You know, God is a benevolent God. He's full of love and mercy and grace, and he is so good. And God, he just loves us so much. One of the things that God is most compassionate about is about the poor. So do you feel like you're, you're a compassionate person? Are you lacking the area of compassion? You know, one thing is the difference between... I guess, caring and not caring. That's what I want to say today. There's a big difference. You know, like for example, I care about people. And I'm actually compassionate about people. I pray for people all the time. And I actually bless them. But it doesn't mean that I have to uh, be a doormat for somebody. So you can still have compassion, still care for people, but you're not a doormat. And that's the difference. You don't have to say yes to everything. You can say no, you can have some standards. But what I'm talking about today when I say compassion, do you have the burden of God on your life? Do you care what, what do you care about the things that God cares about? Do you love the things that God loves? Do you hate the things that He hates? Does it hurt your heart to see somebody not living up to their fullest potential in God? Does it hurt your heart to see a homeless person on the streets? Does it hurt your heart to see somebody going through something? That's the compassion I'm talking about. So I challenge you. I give you questions, start thought-provoking questions to see where you at in this area. 
All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is concerned. What are you worried about? God doesn't want us to be worried. I know sometimes in life, things can get difficult. Things don't feel good. But we have to trust God. We got to trust God at the end of the day. So just pray with me. Let me just touch and agree with you. Let me touch and agree with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just pray that whatever is worrying us today, whatever is just burdening us down, the cares of life, any issues, God, I pray that we release those things right now in Jesus' name. Lord God, I pray just for a breakthrough in our lives, God. I pray for a divine intervention, a miracle, God. God, I thank you that you're on the scene. You're perfecting everything that concerns us, God. We're seeing your Holy Spirit fire right now, God. And God, I just thank you, Lord God, decree and declare that every seed in our minds and our hearts that you have not planted, Heavenly Father, I pray to be uprooted now in Jesus' name. And Lord God, I pluck it up and I throw it down and destroy it with the blood of Jesus Christ. And God, just touch us, God, now in Jesus' name. So receive that deliverance. Receive your deliverance. And just thank God for it. Just thank God for the touch. In Jesus' name. So, enjoy your homework. And I will talk to you soon.